Hey everyone, Gobot here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 19 Franchise Mode with the Texas Rangers. We are back today for a full game, and we are uh, currently with a nice little comfortable lead of four and a half games over the Astros at 36 right now and 18. We're 8-2 eight and two in our last 10 games, and today we're getting ready to go on the mound and play with Lance Lynn a full game. We're going to play this entire game here against the St. Louis Cardinals. Again, always makes me sick to my stomach playing the Cardinals because of that, you know, that war, that one World Series. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it, but let's, let's just keep on going here. So we're going to go play full game here today. All right, we're going to play with the red jerseys, obviously. Let's make sure they're playing with their uh, they have alternate roads. Those are kind of sweet, man. Yeah, let's make them play with those. So we're going to play with these. They're playing with those. We're coming in here at Globe Life Park. Uh, Lance Lynn been struggling for us lately. He's 2-3, and 5.15 ERA. He's on the mound for the Rangers today. And uh, Elvis wants a day off. Let's give him a day off. Why not, huh? So Logan Forsyth, uh, he's going to get the call today to come in on a spot start. Patrick Wisdom still in at the DH spot because of the injury with Shin Su Chu, which, again, he could be back any day now, and today we're going to go up against Daniel Ponce de Leon, who has not had any. This is his debut of the year, um, so we'll see how that goes. The Astros have lost, so that means with a win, these Texas Rangers will uh, extend out their division lead to five and a half games, so really, that's an excellent thing for us as we come in here today at Globe Life Park in Arlington. Lance Lynn on the mound, but I do want to take the moment right now, y'all, if you don't follow me already on Twitter, at Gobach on Twitter, y'all, I post, I'm starting this, uh, as of right now when I'm recording this, this is July 11th, so the Rangers are about to start the second half of the season playing against the Astros, I'm going to start doing game day predictions for the Texas Rangers, which means what I'll be doing is I'll be going to that live thing they have here on the MLB The Show game when you go to play now. And what I'm basically doing, y'all, is simulating the entire game and then just taking screenshots and seeing what the outcome is. That's like the prediction for the day of the game. So I'm going to start doing that on my Twitter. Again, you're only going to see that on my Twitter. I will not make, I mean, I, I could possibly make that a thing on the channel if you're interested in that sort of thing. Predictions on game days, I can make a short little video. Uh, so if y'all want that, y'all need to tell me in the comments. Uh, show your support there. But if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell so you know when to go live. And feel free to subscribe here to Go Bunch Gaming. So Lance Lynn's struggling, working all the way around the, the dadgum zone. Can't get anything in. It's a 3-1 count to start out with Goldschmidt. And there's a four-seam in. Strike two, full count to get this evening started today against the Cardinals. But I will tell you that my prediction for yesterday's video, so I, I guess this was, you know, the Ranger game already happened, but the show, the game predicted the Rangers to win it, 8-3. to three. And Lance Lynn getting his, another win, and the save came to Sean Kelly, who had to come in at the end of the game. So that's, it's fun. I kind of liked doing that prediction stuff. So if, if you're interested in that, let me know. If you'd like to see it, that be a video series on the channel, let me know. Uh, other than that, it's staying on Twitter just as screenshots. I screen cap everything basically on there. Uh, so that's how we're doing it because I don't play any of it. I just, you know, simulate it. So we'll see. Uh, but one two count here, one away. And ground ball. That's going to go to the replacement for Elvis today in Forsyth. And he threw him off the bag. He's able to stretch out right there as Guzman. He got the play done. Kind of stretched out a little bit early today. Here we go. Two away. Here comes Jose Martinez. He leads this Cardinal squad with 34 RBIs early on right now in the season. He's wagging the bat, man. Curveball. He thought about it. He certainly did think about that one, didn't he? 1-0 count. And four seams in. 1-1. Sure one, one. One Playing this game on national television. Oh, that's down fair. I take a weird hop in it. Yep, I knew it was. And it's a double. So it's a two-out double there. Uh, roped that down the line. is 16th of the season. He's a good hitter. He's a good player right there. And now bring up the cleanup man, Paul DeJong, to the plate. And uh, let's see what he can do, and hopefully the Rangers we can get out of this inning and get to the plate, and he rips that one foul. Third base line, hit hard and hit well. And another two-seam, that's fouled off. A 0 2 count, we could throw literally this anywhere. We're going to bring it inside on him. And he swings at it, strike three. Cardinals leave the runner at second stranded. 
Lan, Lan, Lance Lynn is out, and his face looks rough in this game. But uh, Lance Lynn gets through the inning right there, and we're going to go. Here we go. Daniel Ponce de Leon. I guess he has had a game. He's 0-1 with 5.66. So he's had 11 in the third inning. And Patrick Wisdom again for the Rangers in the stead of the injured Shinsu Chu. Going up today against Leon, and it's a strike to begin the day. 0-1, 96 mile per hour fastball. He's got a slider sinker curve as well. And the slider swung on and missed, could not get a piece of that. Very early, it said, at 87. 0-2 count. We're going to watch this one sail high. Brings the count to a 1-2. Also today, y'all, uh, let me mention, I have a new series, new video starting on the channel. And that is, again, it's... I got the Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate for $1, so I'm just downloading random games. If you have any games you'd like to see me play that are on the Game Pass over the course of the next month, the way you let me know and do that, just comment down below in this video today. But the video we'll be seeing today later at 11 a.m. Central, so right after this video pretty much. Um, oh, my gosh, he got me. But uh, you'll be seeing The Hunt Call of the Wild. It's a hunting game, and uh, that will be coming at 11 a.m. I thought that would be something new, change of pace, kind of fun to play a little bit. So... The Hunt, Call of the Wild, coming at 11 a.m. Central today. If you're interested in that, you'd like to see more, be positive in that and uh, show your feedback for that because I'm all about playing these different games, especially while I have this Xbox Games of Gold thing, or not Games of Gold, Game Pass. I'm going to download the games on there and play them. So we already had Forza Horizon 4. As Herrera ropes that up to the middle, pitcher takes care of it, two away for the Rangers, but I really like playing Forza Horizon 4. I'm going to continue to play that while I still have this game pass. Uh, Call of the Wild, I actually really enjoyed playing that episode. Got a couple kills in there, a couple trophies. So, uh, yeah, if you have any other Xbox Game Pass games you'd like to see me play here on the channel, comment down below with them. Let me know. I may certainly download them again. It's $1 for a whole month. It's, it's fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to keep the subscription after because it goes to $15 a month, which I'm not, not completely sure I want to do that just yet. I already have all these other subscription fees and stuff I do. I don't know if I want it. But 0 2 count here. And that is hit high. And on a rope, and the left fielder's got it. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Cardinals. And the Rangers go back to the defensive side here. And we'll see if we can keep the. Oh, man, I left that up. That, we're fortunate that didn't get more of the plate. Because that was a mistimed Wind pitch. There we go. Single. Right field, that's a base hit. Oh my gosh! If he was on the bag right there, that would have been fantastic. We may have we may have had a chance to get him. As slow as he was and how hard he hit that ball down the line, we may have had a chance to get him right there. He's slow, man. He's 17 speed out there. Nothing. 1-0 count though. Wins allowed two base runners in the game. One on a double, one on a single, and that one's gonna get into the gap. Dad gum, they are melting me right now, aren't they? And they're gonna hold right there. So it's second and third, nobody out. Rangers in trouble here. And uh, we're gonna go mound visit just to kind of, you know, talk to him a little bit. He's throwing a lot of strikes. We may need to try to work outside of the zone a little bit more and try to get some swings and misses. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job. And there's two on the corner, man. Good pitch. Let's try to reach up a little bit higher. Yeah, he just he just can't get the bat off his shoulder. O'Neal looks at three straight right in the same spot. Strike three, he's down. Here comes Harrison Bader. I don't know any of these guys hardly on the Cardinals right now. They're like a different team. Bader now to the plate, two on in scoring position, one away now. And there's a two seam in. Oh, good curveball. Wow. That just dropped out. In order to curve again, brought it even lower. And he got a piece of that one. He got a piece of it again. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. I didn't get anywhere. Oh, we're frozen. It's all good. No harm, no foul. No score here as we play inning number he wants another curveball. And that was misplaced. Four curveballs in a row. Not going to work, man. Going home. And they stay. So the Cardinals jump out ahead of us first as we are 
We're getting smashed right now. Lance Lamb just not, not having it, man. We're not having it at all. We need a double play ball, though. Shoot. Cut her down the middle of the plate. Almost a home run. The curveball just missed at the bottom of the zone. The pitcher's injured. Lance Lynn just got hurt, y'all. So we're going to have to go to Jesse Chavez. What the heck? Maybe that's why he was struggling. He was getting, he, he wasn't feeling good. He's hurt. So here comes Chavez. He struggled this year. That ERA way too high. Um, so Chavez is going to come in here. Cold as it can be. And that is what happened. Crap on a stick. Well, that sucks. Unfortunately, there's a three-run home run. Denton's first pitch he sees from Jesse Chavez. And we may have a long day in Soar, y'all, because that injury, then that missed time pitch. And we are uh, we're in for it, but we've got to play through it. It's a long nine-inning game. We're just two innings in. Yes, we're trailing, but we got to get some outs. we got to be more efficient in the, at the plate uh, with our command. Chavez right there, that first pitch I just left out there. And uh, not in a good spot right now, so we'll see what we can do. God gum it, man. They're just roping together freaking hits, aren't they? What is that, four straight hits? I mean, I guess they had that strikeout in between all the bull crap, but dang. We are struggle bussing. Ground ball. So he's safe at first. Didn't get the double play, but we got the lead runner at second. Two away now for Jose Martinez. He doubled earlier in the game. He's back up again for the second time in as many innings. And the cutter misses high. A 1-0 count to Martinez. We got to get the bats going, man, though. If this is the way this game is going to be, we already are, we already had the dip into the bullpen. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. He's telling me to calm, he's telling me to calm the butt, man. Calm. He just missed again. 3-0. Bajong on deck. We're just going to try to throw one down the middle and see if he can. Yep, he, he watched the whole way. That gum. And he fouls that one off. Full count here, two away. Rangers giving up four in the inning. And he fouls off another one. Ground ball. Out coming here at first. Odor over. And there it is. So we're out of the inning, but not before the Cardinals light up the Rangers for four. And there it was. The big difference maker, the three-run home run on the first pitch from Chavez. And the Rangers trail four. Nothing here as we start the second inning. Bottom of the second. Gallo at the plate. And he pops that sky freaking high on the first pitch. Good Lord, that had some hang time, did it not? One away. Not good. And Odor struggling this year for the Rangers at home. I mean, the numbers as far as home runs and RBIs are better, but the batting average is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. What we're seeing right there from Odor. And good. It's a good swing to pit, or pitch to swing at right there on that curveball floating. 0-1 count, though, to Odor. Rangers trail 4-0. We'll watch the four seam miss outside. A 1 1 count here to Odor. Again, there's not a ton of pressure on us. We, we know if we lose, it's okay because the Astros lost as well. So that means we don't lose any ground in our, in our divisional race. But we need to get this win and make it a five and a half game lead. Oh, I'm late. Freaking late on it, man. Very late. 2 2. I'm not going to get a better pitch to swing at than that right there. And that shoveled me off. Oh. Two pop ups to start this inning. And here comes Nomar Mazzara. Two outs for the Rangers. That is hit down the left field line. Fair. That's going to be extra bases for Nomar here. With two outs in the second, it's a two-out double by Nomar Mazzara. And the Rangers have something going here finally. It's his ninth double of the year. The Big Chill stands in strong at second with two outs here in the second inning for Asperardi. A catcher, he's done well at home for us. He's been playing good baseball here as of late. We'll see if he can uh, drive in the first Ranger RBI on this day. 
delivery to him on the way. And Sinker just catches the, ups, the upper part of the plate, barely. Just barely caught that. Bad gum. Wow. Talk about pinning, pinpoint, like, look at that. One and two, both barely on the line. Just <laughs> you can't You can't place them in better spots. You missed that one. So one, two count. Way high right there, the slider. Not a chance that's going to catch the zone. Two, two. Mazzara. I was probably remember last episode he had a big home run for the Rangers. And that's hit high, but not deep at all, and that's in the glove. So the Rangers are retired. We leave Mazzara at second after the two-out double, and the Rangers will look to get a much simpler 1-2-3 inning, if at all possible here, as we start the top of the third inning as we go to Heidi Watney. Uh -huh. Hear her talk about everything going on with the cards. With that carry. All right. So we'll look for a much better inning here from Jesse Chavez. He's going to have to give me two or three more innings. I know he had to come in cold, but he's got he's to give me all he can get. I need to be able to get later into the pen. I don't want to have to go in any further. But he's coming and he's hung up. A bad spot for the Rangers so far. Get it across. There you go. One away. That's that's much better. Much better. We just got to chip away at this game. We got to, you know, get a run here or two or there. Not allow them to get any more across. We'll be okay. I mean, we do that. We'll be just fine in this ball game. But um, it's going to take some some better pitching and a lot better at bats. And that's hit. And it's going to trail off foul and. Namar is there at the wall. He knows that that right field side over there very, very well, and he played it perfectly in the gloves. So two away now here. The Rangers looking to get out of the inning. And there it is, a pop fly. Shallow center, and there it is in the glove. One, two, three. Down go the Cardinals. Herrera got the job done. And the Rangers... <laughs> Six hits to one, and that's just telling you that's the story of this game is as Gruble Cabrera comes to the plate for the Rangers, and he looks to start off the game right for his day. And the sinker misses down and away. 1-0 count to Cabrera. This one's high and away. Hit, and that's rope down the line. Fair. And that's going to be extra bases for Cabrera. It'll be a leadoff double. We're going to slide and just in case we're in. And Cabrera's on with a leadoff double is 11th of the season. Let's go. The Yankees won 15 to 1 over Tampa. Holy crap. That's unbelievable. That's some offensive outpour there. So now that brings up Ronald Guzman to the plate for the Rangers. Again, a guy that's been underachieving, in my opinion. I think he's a very talented young man. I don't know if he'll ever be an all-star, but he's he's better than what we're seeing right now. As he watches the 0-1 pitch go through, that was a fastball at the knees, roughly, thigh high. 0-1. And that's up the middle. Cabrera, and he runs past it. He ran past it, and that is going to be an RBI for Ronald Guzman. And the Rangers get their first run of the game right there. Yeah, peace, buddy. Got the job done. Hit that right up the middle. Straight up. Well struck. Here we go. All right, back at the top of the order now for the Rangers. After the RBI single. And wisdom hammers that thing down the third base line. It's foul. Looking at the slider right there. Um, I'm going to call time real quick. I wanted to check something real quick. No, I didn't want to call time two times in a row. All right, so we're looking here. Uh, pitcher's been throwing a lot of fastballs today. And batting-wise, we're taking two, fouled three, missed one, one strikeout. Okay. So it's kind of looking at some of the analytics right now, what we're looking at here with the pitcher. A lot of fastballs. Here's another one. That's hammered. That's in the gap. Let's go. I don't know if we have enough speed to score, and we're trying it, though. We're going for it. And it's in, and it's a double safe. Back-to-back -back hits right there. 
Actually, three hits in a row, and now it's going to bring out the uh, one of the skippers for the Cardinals as they're looking and thinking. They're talking right now, trying to figure out what they're doing here with Leon, and uh, he's struggling right now. Where the Rangers are finally getting to him a little bit here. Last at bat, he saw two straight down at the bottom. It was a slider four seam combo. We'll see if they go back to that same combination. They're going to take the first pitch. And it's a four seam there for a strike at the knees. 0-1. A one count, and that's up the middle. Hit on a rope. We're going. Nope. Go back. Go back. No way we're getting that. No way we we're getting that. Herrera drilled that ball right to Bader, but no, no avail right there. It's okay. We saw three pitches right up the gut last time. Look at that. Two curves and that four seam. There's another one. That's hit into the gap, and that's going to get down. That's going to bring the third run of this inning for the Rangers. Now holding to just a one-run run deficit here in the third inning. Man, love seeing these guys that aren't my typical starters. They're coming through and they're having big, meaningful hits and at-bats for the Rangers today. And this year overall, they've done that. We've seen this from everybody. Now bring up now the slugger. Joey Jack himself, Joey Gallo, robbed of an AL MVP of the All-Star game. He should have been the MVP. It was not, unfortunately. They gave it to some freaking pitcher that everybody was striking out everybody. Man, Gallo came in there, saw one pitch, hit a home run. Should have, get, should have been the MVP of the All-Star game, but wasn't. Ah, slider. Got me 0-2. 0-2 to Joey Gallo. Which his vision's improved in this game. He used to be in like the 20s. Now it's in the 40s. He's been a lot better within the vision area category, seeing everything a little bit better. 1-2 count to Joey. Watches that one away. Ooh, a little stutter right there. That was weird. 2-2 two -two count to Joey Gallo. Oh, I couldn't get the bat off my shoulder quick enough. Down he goes swinging. By the time we recognized it was going to be in the zone, we are already already well too late. And it's two outs now for Odor. There's a man on. Here's the pitch. He hammers that one fair. And it gets down. We've got runners at second and third, two away. The Rangers stringing together hits galore this inning. That's his eighth double of the year. It's a heck of a play out there in right field. Just could not make the snag. And that brings up Nomar Mazzara. The base hit here would give the Rangers the lead most likely. And that is hit into the gap as well. Don't leave it in the middle of the freaking plate, you idiot. What are you doing? That's going to be a double for Nomar, and the Rangers put up a five spot here in the bottom of the third, getting the bats going. His two-run double, tenth of the year, and the Rangers now jump out to a 5-4, one-run lead here in the third inning. The game could change just like that, y'all, just in a snap of your finger. That's going to be hit, and that's going to get down, and Nomar going to stay at third and not test that arm. They're going to have to get this dude out of there, man. He's just throwing everything well over the plate, um, making it very easy for the Rangers just to, to, to get the timing and go, which is what we've done. We've just eaten them up, eaten them alive. Oh, well, that was bad, and we're going to go. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I thought that was going to go further off. Dang it, man. So the inning ends in a crap hole right there, but it's okay. The Rangers got the lead back. Jesse Chavez back out there for the Rangers. Had a nice little break off. Had a nice 1-2-3 inning last time out. And the first pitch there swung on fouled off. 0-1. And Cutter fouled off there. Brings the count to 0-2. So 0-2 here. I need him to give me another. I mean, if he can get me to the sixth inning, maybe even the seventh strong, I'm all about it, man. Oh, crap. Okay. He got underneath it, thankfully. Herrera's got it in the glove. One out. I wonder how Delino's doing. Remember we traded him last year? Well, I need to go check on that. If I forget to do it in this video, y'all remind me in the comments to go check on uh, the guys we traded. We traded Delino. We traded Willie Calhoun last year make some moves to get some of these guys so remind me to try to go find them and see what they're up to and how they've done at their new teams 
I'm gonna try to remember to do that at the end of this video, but no, no, you know, no promises. Joey, Joey went for it, man. Credit to you, man. He made it. He 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 went for it. That's a triple from Bader. You see Bader right there, five triples entering today. That now puts him at six, so it should give him the outright lead in the triple category. And the cutter in. So the tying run is there at third now here in the fourth inning after that hit into perfect spot in the gap here in the outfield. And that's fouled off. Fortunate for that, that was a bad pitch. Here it comes, 0-2. And pop up. There we go. That's exactly the type of play we needed. Guzman's got it. Two out. And there we go. And now I'm bringing up Paul Goldschmidt. He's got a single on the day. He's one for two. And the cutter just misses at the knee. Could have been either way with that call, but we didn't get the benefit this time. That's okay. As long as we get it sometimes, we don't have to get it every time. 1-1 one, one count on that call. Rings now to the slider. We're going to trail away on him. And he hits it up the middle. And that's a tying base knock. Dang it, man. 5-5 five, five game. This is going to be a roller coaster freaking game, y'all. Stay tuned, man. And y'all, if you ha if you know Texas Ranger fans out there that aren't watching this, y'all, let them know. Let them know. I I'm, I'm making this stuff. I'm not going to quit it. I'm all about me some... Rangers baseball and all about me some MLB the show and oh, that is kidding me are you kidding me two straight hits there and that one was barely just that thing got knuckled over right there so two straight singles there we gotta go to the pin now no I want to go to the dang bullpen right, uh, we have a lot of tired arms currently Who is the best energy out there? I guess, I guess we can go we can go Sean Kelly. Get the arm ready. You need you need to get through this dang inning though, man. You need to get me through this inning because you're getting tired. You're only working through the fourth freaking inning. You're a starter now for goodness sake in your life. And you're supposed to be a long relief pitcher? You've only thrown thirty two pitches and you're tired? Get over it. And the one -one. Slider in there, good pitch that time. And that's another, oh man, get down, get it. Yep, got it. Woo. All right, we're out of the inning, but the Rangers give up the lead. It's now tied, 5-5, five -five. so we head to the bottom of the third. A ton of freaking hits on the board. Nine for the Cardinals, eight for the Rangers. What the heck is going on today, man? A sinker, we did not give to it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're going to get ready. As this inning goes on, we're going to get ready to maybe bring in that new pitcher. That's it high, not deep, though. And he's got it. So two, or one away now here in the fourth, the bottom of the fourth, excuse me, not the third, but I think it was the third. We're in the fourth. But uh, we got to look at our bullpen situation. we got Bush, or Kelly, excuse me, warming up. Um... I guess I'm going to go ahead and schedule him to come in. Kelly going to come in in the fifth inning. First delivery to him on the way. And that's hit high. Deep. Carry. Oh, my God. What a play. The deepest part of the ballpark for the Rangers out there in right center, and he freaking made the run out there for it. Well done. Well done. Two down now. Oh, good curveball. Yeah, fooled me, yeah. Fooled me, Wisdom. I believe this is a former team, right? Patrick Wisdom came from the Cardinals. Am I wrong with that? Right, that's outside. 1-1 one, one count to Patrick Wisdom. Come on. Up the middle, base not. And there we go. Alright, so here we go. We got a man on. Two out. 
to the at bat on its way. And that is going to go dribble foul, Herrera. Off the end of the bat, we rolled over the top on it. 0 1 count. And that is going to loop in. Get down. Dang it, man. That went a lot further out than I was expecting it to. I thought that was going to roll over, but now we're going to bring in Sean, Ch Sean Kelly. It's 15th of the game. It's 3 1 with 3 2, 3 3 2 ERA. He's ready to go. We're ready to go, too. Okay, we're ready to go, too. We've got to go against DeJong here. He's 0 2 today. Slider misses low. We go four seam high. I like these guys that work quicker, like him. He he has a much quicker release and, and move to the plate. It makes me more comfortable with him. And foul, right? Ooh. Whoa! No, no, no! That was foul. Can we review it? Can we review that? I didn't think that landed foul. Did, or fair, did it? Oh my god. It just hit the dang line. Are you freaking serious? Just got it. I quit on that play. I, that was a stupid decision on me. I probably could have limited that, maybe. He's slow enough, though, so it's okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're going to freaking fall apart. They're just getting all these crazy hits. You got that double right there that barely stayed fair. You had that little sing single that ropes its way through. And now, man, we're just in a bad spot. I need a strikeout here or a double play. Not that. That's not what we freaking need. God damn it. We're giving it up, man. Can I get a ground ball double play, please? Good lord. Right, we left that high, but he swung on and missed it, so 0 2. Swing and a miss. There you go. Get out of here. Get the freak out of here, man. Strike three. Oh my god, I left a high. Ooh, he, swung, ooh. he missed it. He missed it. There's a miss as well. 0 2. And a swing and a miss. Brought the heat down the middle of the plate. Couldn't catch up with it. Two away. Come on, get out of this, man. Get out of this. You got to give me two innings. You got to give me this fifth and sixth. Work efficiently. Work effectively here, man. You got to give me about 40 pitches. There it is. Got it. Easy play. Inning over. But the Rangers give up the lead. An unfortunate sequence of events there that we saw, but Forsyth now coming up to the plate for the Rangers. He's had a pretty decent day. One for two. He had that single earlier that we drove in a run. Ooh, wow. Ugly swing there. It's a slider trailing away. That's a good pitch. And that is looped. And he got it. I just missed that one from being some extra bases. So there you see the game today. Just a crazy game. Loads, loads of hits today all over the field. The big shift is on here. And slider misses away. Oh, 1 0 count to Joey Gallo, who can tie this game up with a swing of the bat and a blink of an eye. Sinker at the knee. Man, good pitch. Here we go, guess that high. I dare you. Yes, sir. Mm, early. I anticipated too much. Dang it. Dang it. Too early, man. I was too hyped on that one. And ground ball into the shift. Long way to go out of the shift, and Joey almost beat it. But two outs now. We don't need our bats to start quieting down. We need our bats to keep it going, man. We had that, that, that third inning that we just we ripped them left and right all over the field. Slider there. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. That's ripped fair. Looking at a two double day for Mr. Odor. We're in safe. Odor, his second double today. It came this time with two outs. And that'll bring up Nomar Mazzaro, who's two for two with two doubles and two RBIs. Each double's driven in, driven in a run. Or actually, the first one didn't. The second one did. The second one broke, broke, brought in two, I believe. And that's going to end it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. It's all right. It's all right. We still got time to work with. We're just down by one. Uh, we just need to have a better inning. Kelly, keep doing your thing, man. You got you got yourself in a jam last time. Get yourself out. Okay, that's left center. Herrera's there in the glove. One away. You got to get me through seven innings, man. You got to get me through that seventh. Have a nice quick inning here. Drag bunt situation, okay. Got the speedster out here, eh? Yeah, you can try to drag bunt. Ooh, that's an ugly swing. Stayed alive on it, though. 0-2. Oh, fouls off another one. Let's see one more pitch here. Try to extend this at bat. We're going to try to end it now. He's, he extends it. Spoiling strike threes all over the place, man. Swing and a miss. Slider. Down you'd go. Get by. Get out. Two away. Here comes Jose Martinez. Oh, good slider at the knee, baby. Let's go. That's a heck of a pitch. Swing and fouled that one off. 0-2. Oh, we can throw anything we want, wherever we want, and see if we can chase it. Nope, we're not going to chase the slider. 1-2 count. And he's getting tired. Yes, we are aware of this. Lined, and Joey's there. Ooh, it's a 1-2-3. The Rangers now come up. We got Asperardi, Cabrera, Guzman to the plate. And we got to go up against Aaron Lope. He's not done too well this year. Anyway, hopefully the Rangers we can take advantage of this lefty on the mound. A sinker ball around. Oh, changeup. That's a hardy hack at it, wasn't it? That's a heck of a changeup. Knowing this guy's pitch repertoire, he's going to try to keep everything low. And that's popped up foul, sinker there. I guess you're going to go with the changeup again. I don't know. I don't know what this guy's going to throw at all. And changeup again. Man, that thing coming in rolling about like 80. Yep. Exactly 80. You just barely got a piece of that. And up the middle. Man. Well, we didn't get enough enough power on that swing. If we did, that would have been a single up the top. But it wasn't. Why not Guzman? All right, not Guzman. Cabrera, our switch hitter. Get, get busy with it right here. And that's hit high, but not deep. Shallow right. And there he goes. I probably should have just let that pitch go and live to fight one more pitch because that was that was a, a really, really well-placed pitch that's tough to do anything with. Probably should have waited for another one. Man, it's so difficult to wait on that one. It's so difficult. You know it's coming. You just got to wait. And that's hit high. That's going to end the inning. Oh, man. I don't like playing these types of guys. I hate throwing pitchers that don't throw heaters. I hate when they throw all this off-speed bull crap. It's just miserable. So... Here we go. We're going to try to stick with this guy for a little bit here. Um, we're going to get the bullpen stirring a little bit and wake up Christian Klump. He's going to be coming in next for the Rangers, but we're going, to, we're going to stick with Sean Kelly here for a little bit longer and see if he can get us maybe through the seventh inning. We'll see. That's foul. 0-2. Oh, he went for it. Yeah, that's a grounder. And one away. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. There's a foul. Man, there we go. I mean, he had that crap start. 
when he came in and just allowed all those hits. But since then, he's just he's been well, he's been fairly solid until that hit. One one out, one on. No speed there to mention at first. He's got 17 speed, so it's nothing to go home about really. But mm. and there's a slider in. We go one more. We're gonna throw it a little bit lower. He went for that one, maybe. Let's go. We need a fastball, right? No, nope. slider again, down and even further away. He didn't. He didn't chase that one. I'm going fastball high and in on him. Ooh, -hoo. bringing different speeds on you. Swing and a miss, man. That's tough. That's a tough pitching combination to deal with right there. And that's what happens. Get me through this inning, man. Just get me through this inning. Slider in. A one. Two seam now. Ooh, just missed inside at 88. It's okay. We're okay. That one miss, or missed before us, but still is in the zone. One, two, and we're going to try to end it with a strikeout. And we got him on the heater. Down he goes. Bye-bye, O'Neal. Rangers still trailing, but Kelly got us through it. And now I'm bringing up the top of the order for the Rangers now. We're going to get our bullpen ready. Christian Klump, you will be coming into the game. Come next inning. New pitcher on here for the Cardinals. He's got fastballs. And that is ripped, but fair and right on to the left fielder. <sighs> One away. And Dubu Herrera struggling on the day. 0 for 3, not even. I mean, he's had a couple well-struck balls, just nothing really going his way. Nope. Nope. 0-1-0. A 1-0 -oh. -oh count. Mm, I don't know. That's borderline. He got the benefit call right there. 1-1. One, one. And fastball I shouldn't have freaking swung at, but I did. And that's going to be the second out here in the seventh. The second out here in the seventh, and that will bring up Logan Forsyth. He's one for three with a single RBI and a run today in his spot start for Elvis Andrews. He was available off the bench for pinch hitting if we happen to need him. And a slider swung on and missed right there. It's a good pitch. A one. Their, their bullpen's done a heck of a job. They've come in here and they've fairly. Ooh, wow. Could have been a home run if we just waited a little bit more. A little bit more. That's probably a, tie, a tied up game right there. And that is hit fair, but. And it's down. Wow. I didn't think that was going to get down. Two out single. I'll bring up the slugger. Come on, baby. Come on, Joey. Now's your time. Now is when you got to bring the power. I'm waiting on it all game long. Give it to me now. Mm, four seam at the knees. We've hit two ground balls to Joey today. It's not like him. We've hit that sky high pop up earlier as well. Just no power. Wow, fair. Yeah, we got to stay put. He hit that so hard. We couldn't even get extra bases out of it. But Joey got his first hit of the game. Now brings up Odor, who's had a really solid game for the Rangers in a big spot here in the seventh inning. Looking to play hero. Trailing by a run. No. And I got a great pitch to swing at, but I couldn't get underneath it. That's a pitch. We, that's a great pitch to swing at. I have no problem with that. We just couldn't get it to go where we wanted. We, we didn't get underneath it far enough. Dad gummit, that sucks. That was the inning, man. That was it. We still have eight. We have six outs to work with, trailing by a run. Christian Klump in here. He's been solid for the Rangers this year. And uh, a lower attendance today, 28,000. I don't know what the deal is. I guess it's a Monday night and playing a subpar team this today. I mean, the Cardinal fans watching, I'm sorry, but the Cardinals in the game right now are not fantastic. And I know we're losing to them, but, you know, that's baseball. You can't win them all. Oh, that's ugly. You out of here. Bye-bye. Go think about that. Christian Klum's going to mock you. <laughs> All right, man. Here we go. One out. 
This is the guy that broke open the game earlier, that three-run blast back in the second. Big part of that four-run inning. Two away. Pumps kind of done a good job. We'll see if he can get us out real quick. Goldschmidt to the plate. Strike. 0-1. One of our brightest young arms we have out here is Christian Klump. I know he's working out of the pen. He'd like to be a starter, but he's come in and he's done his job. I mean, he's really been efficient for us. Both years. Last year, too, as a rookie. Oh, man. All right, can we hit him with the off speed now? I want to go slider away. I really do. I want to make him go chase that crap. He didn't want to. That's okay. He didn't want to change it. That's fine. This one off. The one two. And he the pops way, it up. Right, right field. field. In the glove from Nomar Mazzara. We're gonna go to the bottom of the eighth. Rangers trail by a run. And we're gonna go up against Archie Bradley, struggling this year that ERA well high. And uh Nomar Mazzara up to try to continue his well played game. He's got two hits, two extra base hits at that. And that's high, not deep. And what a freaking play from Bader, a hater out there, whatever. That's a leap. Oh, my God. Taking away base, bases right there from Nomar. One away, man. That was a great play. Great grab. Had gum. One out here now in the eighth. We're down to five outs. We got the bottom of our dang order too, which is not good. Mm, get, get fair, get stay down, stay down. Fair, let's go. Out ground rule double for Asperardi. Let's go. What's the speed out there? Yes, go to subs. Um, Asperardi. Connor Falefa. Yes, sir. He's got much better speed. Now bring up Osdrubal Cabrera to the plate. And that is going to get over the glove. Runners at the corners. We're staying. We're staying because I was, mm, I wasn't sure about that one right there, but we're staying. Everybody's safe. Runners at the corners. One out. And, uh, yeah, we need a better. No, 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 no. Manager, substitution. I need somebody for his dribble. Um, who has better speed out there that can do third base as well? Santana, can you do third? Yes, you can. And you have 61 speed. Yes. Keep an Elvis just in case he needs to come to the plate. Ah, Guzman. we got two speedsters on here. Somewhat speedsters. Not very fast, but enough. Ooh, knuckle curve, man. Good pitch. Good pitch. 0-1. And second inning in a row, we've had base runners on. Can we finally bring one in and tie this game up? Ooh, whoa, 96, freaking A. Coming off the back of that knuckle curve, that looked like the fastest pitch of all time. There's a knuckle curve again. We watched that all the way through, 1-2 count. 1-2 count. There's another one, misses. Guess four seem high. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Man, ground ball. God damn it. Are you freaking serious? We hit into a dang double play out of everything that could have possibly happened. We hit into a dad gum double play. <sighs> Baseball, I love you, but I hate you sometimes. All right, give me Clump, give me a good inning. We get back to the top of our order, and the Rangers could try to get a walk off. So what we have to do? We got to try to get something in the ninth now. Oh my gosh, Th those lineouts like that are just terrifying for me. Oh man, it missed. That missed. Fair enough. One zero -oh count. And there's a four seam in. 1-1. One, one. And that is through. 
So it's another hit for him right there today. One on and one out for the Cardinals here in the ninth inning. And uh, just in case now, we're going to get the, the pin just stirring a little bit and make sure hmm, Kimbrell's, you know, just getting ready. Just thinking about it. Anything that is around the strike zone. Strike. Good. Good. Not much speed there on at first, so I'm not really too concerned about a stealing attempt, but you never know. Nomar's there in the glove. Two out here in the top of the ninth. Here comes Jericho. He had that play earlier today. Four C men. Strike one. Up the middle. Go to the force a second. Sides retired, and the Rangers are going to have to go try to walk things off or at least try to force extra baseball as we go to Wisdom Herrera Forsyth for the Rangers. So we're going to stay with a hot bat of Patrick Wisdom. He's had a really good day today for the Rangers. Hope that he can start the inning off with a base knock. And there it is. There it is, baby. The leadoff single from Patrick Wisdom, a diving play out there from right field. He almost made that grab again, but nonetheless, we have the man on. That brings up a double Herrera. He has struggled intensely today. He has not done well. That is ripped down the line. Let's go. Oh, you missed it. You overran it. We're going home. We're going home, baby. And it's a tie to game. Let's go. Herrera, way to come through with your first hit of the day. It's been a quiet one. But now, with Logan Forsyth coming out, uh, sorry, sir. I got to go to my man, Elvis Andrews. He's been cold. He's got a day off today. He's coming up to the plate, looking to play hero for the Rangers. No one out. Tie game, ninth inning. And there it is, baby. Ball game. Ball freaking game. First pitch. Elvis Andrews, you're the hero. And the Rangers win it in a walk-off here at home against the Cardinals. Justice for that freaking World Series. Oh, man. Let's go. Elvis been sitting there watching the game, having a good time. Crazy game at that, but he came through right here with a massive first pitch swing opposite the field and a game full of drama, lots of ups and downs for both squads. Lo loads and loads of hits all game long as Herrera waltzes in for the win for the Rangers. Oh, man, we're getting a ton of excitement. This this season two for this franchise, y'all, has been just crazy. But there's your player of the game. Nomar Mazar played a heck of a game for the Rangers. Came through with two hits and his four at-bats, two RBIs as well. Both of those were doubles, if you remember correctly. And uh, the Rangers are going to leave today with this win. And Clump came through with two strong innings, gave up one hit, struck out one. And he gets his uh, the win for the Rangers. But an excellent game. 17 hits for the Rangers, 14 for St. Louis, just a offensive showdown here in Arlington and I wouldn't have it any other way but thanks y'all again so so much for tuning in today to this franchise mode video if you enjoyed what you saw leave a thumbs up comment down below hit that notification bell so you know when I go live with my next content and subscribe here if you feel so inclined to help us reach your goal of 2,000 subscribers but thanks again y'all have an outstanding day and I'll see you all back here in the next video y'all take it easy